if you look at the right hand side of the screen you see a figure that is displayed there where two to reproduce that figure now since the circle i always advise you draw your horizontal and vertical axis so this will be you just start with this you draw the long one short long short long short long short and so and you pick up this get to the center do the same thing on your you draw the long short that is your center line Now, if you look at this closely, the total diameter of that circle is 90, so I'm going to take half of it, which is what? 45. So, placing it this way, from this point to here is 45. You can see that. And I'll place it at the center here. Then I'm going to draw a circle in which I am going to take in. You can see that now in doing that I will now place my compass at this end which is that end you're seeing to this end here then I'll draw an arc this way I'll repeat the same thing take the same measurement to this other end here and I'm going to do the same thing Right. Now the next thing is this is a line in the diagonal, and if you look at it, given at an angle of what forty-five degree. So I'm going to take my forty-five degree set square, and I'll place it on my t-square this way you can see that so i place it this way with reference to the center i'm going to draw another center line so this is a long careful this will be long one Short, long, short, long, and so on. You can see that. And I will take my compass. I'll do the same thing. Move my set square to the other side. What I just need is just to mark this point and this point. So if I take my compass now with the same measurement, this way, I'll place it this way on that point. Take it to this end here. You can see that. You can do this. I'll come to the end here too. And I'll repeat the same fit. So this is what we have here. Now the next thing you do your dimensioning, you can just uh, extend this out. A little bit and I'll take my compass from the center here, take it to any of this distance here, and I'll draw this way. So, meaning that the angle between this point and this point. Is given to be 45 degree and the diameter of this circle is given to be 90 now this is what we have here it's a what we call center line so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button.
Thanks for watching.